I have a gay young girlfriend, so, you know. <laughs> So my name is Omale. I don't know if I was supposed to say that, but I guess you guys Everybody already know. know. <laughs> so my name is Omale, and um, I'm an artist. I'm a musician. Um, this is my first time in Kenya, and I've, I've always wanted to come to Kenya. But because of the COVID and everything, the first time I missed it, but this time I'm here. And man, the love so far has been amazing. And yeah, I'm happy to be here, man. Thank you guys. So next, you're going to have questions, and uh, it's going to be by order. So you, you raise your hand, say where you're coming from, your media house, your question. Okay, so Malay presenter Ali here. I'm coming from the time. We wanted to know why Kenya? Why are so many West African artists coming to Kenya? What's so special about Kenya? Uh, I really can't answer that question for sure, but I know that I want to come to Kenya because um, I, I get a lot of love. There's so much love coming from Kenya. I mean, I have a lot of fans in Kenya that wants to, definitely I want to connect with my fans. Uh, for me, it's not just about, um, it's not just about the money or the publicity, whatever. I want to connect with my fans. And I know I have so many fans in Kenya, so I'll do whatever to see my fans. And this one here. We have our biggest artist actually, Proud, who is actually the biggest artist in Kenya. Okay. Are you looking forward to working with him now that you're in Kenya? I can't guarantee that, like 100%. But I'm in Kenya because there's definitely a relationship between Kenya and Nigeria, and, there's, and that's what we're trying to build. So um, definitely if we meet and the vibe is right, I'll definitely do something with him. Uh, my last question. Recently we saw the video posting about releasing the album. Do you have any album plans? Sorry? Uh, Whiskey will announce that he's soon going to release the album. I don't know if you have any album plans. Yeah, I have an album coming up real soon. Um, it's almost 90% done. You're definitely going to know when I, when I release it. And then another question. What do you think about Kenyan girls? Kenyan girls? <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> what do you think about? <laughs> um, I have a Kenyan girlfriend, so, you know. <laughs> but I'm single for everybody. I love, I mean, the love from Kenya is amazing, and, you know. And my last question is, uh, which Kenyan artist do you love? Which one do you listen to the most? Uh, Kenyan artist that I listen to? I listen to Sati Soul a lot, but I I'll take Sati Soul. I'll take Sati Soul. And Next one. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Okay. You're okay. I'm good. Hi, I'm Ali. I'm Hadi from East Africa. Okay. Uh, my question is that what made you decide to pursue a career in entertainment at such a young age? I, I mean, I have serious love for music. It feels like that's the only thing that I have. So I had to pursue it. And um, it just feels right. It feels like that's what I should do. So no, no second thought. There was no double guessing for me. OK. And uh, what was the best concert that you have seen that you have been? I feel, I feel like Kenya is going to be the best. I've not seen it yet. <laughs> and um, I just want to know, what are the rituals or things that you do before you go to perform? Like as artists, we all get very nervous. But we do something to go on stage. For me, I just. I mean, I don't get nervous. I, I, I won't lie. I, 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 there's this adrenaline that I, I want to see what's up. But um, I'm, I'm just OK. My ritual is, is normal. Just go on stage and do my thing. Thank you, thank you so much. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of country and country thing and you know music politics, country and country. But um, I know, I know a lot of, I know South Soul for sure. 
I know South to Soul for sure, and um, there is there there is a similarity with between Nigeria and Kenya, and there is some sort of connection with the music, and I feel like it, at the end we are all making African music. We are all making music for Africa, and that's the most important thing. And now, uh, when releasing a project, you have like a target market for the uh, city in Kenya. Your songs are mostly high and pushed. I'm, I'm not the best guy to ask that question. Anything about marketing, I'm not into it. I just make music and then I put it out straight up. Okay, yes, um, I used to be a music record producer before I started singing myself, and uh, I didn't work with any big names. I know that's the question, right? Yeah. I didn't work with any big names. It was just me and my circle making music because we loved it for a long time. And then, um, second question again. Second question is, have you been involved in producing any of the songs? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I produced uh, about three songs in my first EP. I produced like two songs in my second, and I, I, I'm definitely producing a few. My album. Okay, do you have a timeline for this album that you said is almost ready? I don't. Next person. Can you come again with the second question, please? Okay, in Kenya, a musician can work for maybe 10 years or, or more than 10 years, but they get to receive the international competition. But in West Africa and other countries, to get that they receive uh, international recognition. What do you think that you can get? Like I said earlier, I'm not the best guy to ask about marketing and stuff. <coughs> can I get water, please? Get some water. Um, I'm not the best guy to ask about marketing, but for me, all I do is make my music and put it out. Label and all that deal with deals with, like the question you just asked. But I know for sure that good music sells itself, as long as it's good. Um, people are definitely gonna buy it. People are definitely gonna buy it if it's good. I mean, that's my best answer. For me. Hi, Omale. Oh. My name is Seen it. Have you seen it? I've seen it. Would like you to do it for us? <laughs> yes. I mean, that's why I'm here, right? I came yes. to Kenya to play with everybody, like play my songs. So definitely you see me on stage. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Omale. My name is Kudu Awako, SPM Bar. First welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Uh, you're among the dead and selected for the YouTube Black Boxes Music Class uh, 2022. Maybe you can share with us the experience. And the second question is that. Uh, so it's on when you follow the rapid and so many times you have been supported with uh, Tanasha Maybe you can confirm to us, are you dating Tanasha or Amin Oh, oh. Can I get water, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, first, I am single. I said I had a Kenyan girlfriend, but I'm single. And, um, <laughs> and uh, I never had a girlfriend, so... I don't want to talk about the, the rumor, the rumors on Instagram, right? That's what you're talking about, the videos and stuff on Instagram. Yeah, so I never had a girlfriend. And um, what was the first question again, please? The first question was, uh, you're among the female talents selected for the uh, YouTube Black Voices class of 2022. Maybe you can share with us the experience. I mean, um, it, was a, it, was a big, it was a big thing for me to be part of uh, the YouTube, YouTube Black Voices and um, it's growth. It's actually putting Africa, like I said earlier, we're all selling African music, African culture. And um, that is just me representing Africa. And, um, you know, so it's a big deal, not just for me, for everybody. 
Kenya, Nigeria, Africa as a whole. And um, yeah, does that answer the questions? <laughs> That's not true. I said earlier that I never had a girlfriend. <clears throat> Those were rumors. I mean, I don't want to talk about this, but you guys are definitely choking me with it. But those were rumors, and um, I think it, it got handled the way it got handled. Yeah. My, my second question. Uh, how, how do you expect people to receive you when you are... Love me the way you feel like, just the same way I feel like loving you. So any way you guys feel like treating me on stage, it's, it's totally up to you. <laughs>